Hey YouTube, wanted to share my experiences with you on growing Mechanopsis, the blue poppies. Um, I've struggled with them, I've had some success over the years, but they can be a little bit tricky. They do require nice rich soil conditions, nice even moisture even through the summer, which is pretty tricky to do for us here in Victoria. Uh, we tend to be fairly dry in the summer months, uh, not terribly hot, but sometimes even a little too hot for their liking. Uh, people always do love the, the color of these guys. They're such a striking, very true blue here. You can see if I zoom in a little bit. But they are somewhat challenging to grow nicely. What I find is my biggest trouble with them is the summer moisture. Uh, the trees around here, things like the cedars, just tend to suck all the moisture out of the soil. There isn't a lot left over for the Mechanopsis, and they can't tolerate that. They'll quickly dwindle in size and can disappear even in just a single season. What I decided to do to remedy that problem was get a nice large pot. So here you can see a very sizable, big, heavy clay pan. Not very deep, it's only maybe 18 inches deep, but it is a good two and a half, three feet across, nice and big. And I filled this with a fairly typical sort of peat bed mix. So it's a mixture of mostly 50-50 peat moss and sand with a little bit of other things mixed in, like just a little bit of manure, but that would probably make up at most 5% of the mix. In a, a nice peaty mix like that, it's easy to keep the moisture to them in the summer. You can grow all of their favorite companions with them, and they can tolerate that little bit of extra summer heat that you might have without fading away. This plant here is now about four years old. Uh, it's flowered, it, a bot is a seedling size plant, and it's flowered the last three years. Uh, each year getting a little better, which is nice because Mechanopsis do have a habit of just getting a little worse sometimes. I've mixed in the container some Candelabra Primulas, which you can see bloom at a similar time. They're open right now. Nice, beautiful, tall plants there. And then the other plants that I have to balance out a big container like this in the garden are things like Lobelia cardinalis. There are three nice big plants of that in here. So come mid-summer through fall, there's a big show of red flowers, some nice color. Also some of the more bog-growing type gentians mix in nicely here. Uh, some of those nice little creeping ones are mixed into this planter as well. So it seems to be a fairly simple, foolhardy way to grow them. They do well don't require quite as much care and maintenance as they might in the garden. Uh, as far as feeding goes, they are known for liking a nice, rich, nutrient-full soil. Um, that's accomplished with that bit of manure added in. Also, I tend to give them a good feed probably three times a year with lots of seaweed or kelp, um, in a liquid form, as well as fish emulsion. So you can really get the organic food bumped up in there. I try and avoid doing any really heavy feeding in this pot with any of the more chemical type fertilizers, you know, as I call them, blue water. Those are great for a lot of plants, but I find that they're a little bit harsh for these guys. They want to have a good dose of more organic nutrients to thrive, it seems. Thanks, YouTube. Hope that helps.